Okay, so I think some of us are not used to being in small spaces. Like, if you're able to be inside a coffin for 24 hours underground, comment down below. Because I know Mr. Beast did it, but I'm telling you one thing. Being trapped in a small space is super scary. Especially when it's with your crush for 24 hours. And today's story is a lot of that. But before anything, make sure you guys do join the kick streams down below. Seriously, I'm streaming on kick now and it's super fun and exciting to talk to you guys and tell more crazy stories just like this one. Other than that, let's get straight into this insane story. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba and welcome back to another insane awesome story. So this story takes place back when I was actually funny enough in grade seven. Yes, I was actually a young middle schooler. And if you guys don't know, I used to have a crush back in middle school that I basically fell in love with. Basically, I want to say back when I was in grade seven or actually even in grade six as well, there was one girl in my class in my middle school that I basically fell in love with. She was a girl that I majorly just wanted to be with. And I felt like me and her would be the most insane couple ever. I think a lot of us have this feeling when we have a crush or someone that you imagine yourselves with them and thinking it's going to be the best thing ever. And then it never ends up happening. So you sit in your room depressed playing Call of Duty. Well, that's basically what happened to me, but that's not the point. I remember basically what ended up happening was one time me and my class, we had a field trip. Now field trips are usually the good things in middle school or in any school. But I remember this field trip was literally a field trip to the park. And all we had to do was basically go out and stargaze at night. So yes, this field trip wasn't during school hours, which is kind of insane. But I remember basically we all would get like extra points into our report cards if we went. So I remember basically I ended up going up to my parents that day when we got announced for the field trip and i told them hey mom can i please go to this field trip like it's for extra grades and it's really cool i remember my mom looked at it she saw that we were basically going to be out super late from basically 9 p.m to like almost 11 30 at night which is almost close to midnight and a grade seven going out during midnight may be common nowadays but i had strict parents so they were no way okay with this anyways i remember basically i kept begging my mom over and over and as two days passed i remember my mom finally signed the paper saying fine you can go because either i was going to be up playing video Video games or I go out and actually do homework, which I mean, let's be real here. That's a deal breaker for any parent. Anyways, on the day of, I remember basically at school, we were all getting ready to prep our stuff and basically get ready to go and do this field trip later on during the school day. Because basically what we had to do is meet up at the school, pack up everything and then go over there. Me, I remember as I was packing up my things and getting ready for placing my stuff for the field trip, I remember I looked at my middle school crush and she was beautiful. No joke. I remember she looked at me with her big eyes that she had. And I remember she walked up to me and said, Hey, Bubba, like, are you excited for this field trip? Oh yeah. hundred percent is what I told her. And I remember she kept looking at me and basically like talking to me about stuff about stars and stuff, but I'm not going to lie to you. I kind of ended up toning out her voice and just hearing the glowing sounds coming from around her and how beautiful she was. I know I sound like a simp during the story, but trust me, that was basically me back in middle school. Anyways, going on though, I remember as the school day was about to be over, I remember I was walking with my friend home and I remember he was explaining to me how basically for some reason my middle school crush was maybe not going to go to this field trip. I remember when he said, yeah, so like, I don't know, man, I don't think she's probably going to go to this field trip. Trip. I looked over at him and said, wait, why? Why wouldn't she go? She loves the stars. And then he ended up telling me, well, apparently she has like stomach aches or something. I don't know. Like, did you not see how many times she has to go to the bathroom? To be honest, I didn't realize it during school day. And honestly, I felt bad and I kind of felt sad at the same time because the whole reason I really wanted to go to this field trip is not really to actually look at the stars when there's one beautiful one right in front of me, aka my middle school crush at the time. But anyways, going on from there, I remember I went home and I was all bummed out basically. And then my mom, her being excited that I'm going out to do homework super late and of playing video games, came downstairs to my room and said, okay, Bubba, you have like 20 minutes. Get ready. I'm going to drive you back to the school. And I was like, okay. And I got all my stuff and I ended up going to school. When I went to school, it was super dark out. And honestly, one thing I realized is that school at nighttime is a lot more scarier than school at daytime. Because, well, I don't know. It just looks like a really freaky old mental asylum. But I remember as we all met up in front of the school, we went to our classrooms, we picked up everything we needed, and then we ended up going for the field trip. We went to the park and we started walking around. And right as you know it, out of nowhere, my middle school crush and up running into the park, seeing all of us and sits down the circle that we were sitting in. I remember I was super happy and seeing her and I was like, basically, I was getting jitty. I'm not going to lie. I was freaking out saying, oh my goodness, like she's actually here, dude. As I'm like grabbing my friend's shoulder, telling him like she's here as if she's like the princess of the class. Well, in my mind she was, but going on, I remember basically we were going around placing telescopes down that we had in our classroom and we were just looking at stars and writing down constellations and stuff. I don't know. I really don't care about the sky to be honest because well, the only thing I would do nowadays is reach for the sky, but other than that, one thing I ended up realizing is that my middle school crush was really having bad stomach aches. And I know my friend mentioned this earlier as we were walking home together, but basically what I started realizing is that she really had to go to the bathroom a lot. Like it got to the point where like she ended up going more than four times and no one knows what was going on with her. So I remember it got to the point where I ended up walking up to her saying, yo, like, is everything good? Me thinking that I could be some sort of way of helping her with her stomach ache as if I'm like Advil or something. But then she looks at me and says, oh, like, no, I'm 
okay. It's just my stomach's been hurting recently. I don't know why. And I felt bad and I kind of just decided to stick with her and be helpful in a way with her homework while she just kept going to the bathroom. And then this is where things get super bad. I remember it was towards the end of the field trip and it was like 1130 at night. And basically I remember I walked up to my crush and I told her, yo, like, here's your homework. I managed to finish it for you. Are you feeling okay? And right as she looks at me, she goes back straight to the bathroom. At that point, I remember I looked at my teacher. My teacher said to go follow her to make sure she's okay. And I ended up following her to the bathrooms and I was outside the door while she ran inside and went straight to a toilet, I'm guessing. And me, as I'm sitting outside, I remember all I ended up hearing was, oh my, oh, that hurts. Right at that moment, I'm like, yo, is she good in there? But no one else was around. So me being the dumb grade seven kid I was, I decided to go inside the bathroom to go check on her. And right as I go inside, I remember I look around and I'm thinking, bro, what is going on? Because all I hear is her making the biggest dump I've ever heard of. Like no joke for a girl that I thought was a princess, dude. She definitely did not have a princess down there, bro. Like it was gross. Okay. I don't know how else to explain it, but it was gross. So I remember I ended up knocking on the stall saying, yo, is everything okay in there? And she like instantly like gets really mad and says, Bubba, what are you doing in here? It's the girl's bathroom. Yeah. But like, I, I thought something was wrong. And right as I say that, that's when the thing that terrifies me the most ended up happening. The lights went out. And basically for some reason, I heard a lock happen on the door. At that moment, I remember I ran towards the door and I heard that no one was around. And basically as I tried to open the door, the door went not open. No matter what, the door was not going to open. And right at that moment, I go back to the stall and I talk to my crush and I say, yo, so um, they just locked us in here. Well, can, can you turn on the light is what she says. As I look for a light switch though, I couldn't find one. Cause you gotta remember this is like a park bathroom. So like everything's like kind of like built in, I guess in some way, I have no idea. But I remember I kept telling her to like, calm down. Don't worry. I'll figure things out. And I'm just looking around thinking what to do. As for my middle school crush, well, she was just making sure she got everything out of her system. So as she's just majorly farting, I'm just sitting in the bathroom in in the dark trying to figure out what's going on and as i'm looking around like kind of like putting my hands on the bathroom floor to see if there's any way i can maybe like turn on the light or figure out something that's around kind of just know my surroundings i ended up finding a lighter on the ground i found the lighter and i remember i flicked the lighter on and there was a little bit of light my crush noticed it and she said oh like what is that and i said it was a lighter i found on the ground and she's all like wait you have a lighter do you smoke bubba no is what i told her and then afterwards like after like 10 seconds later she ended up coming out of the bathroom with the little light we had i ended up making sure she washed her hands and everything and one thing led to another she was sticking right beside me don't get me wrong as much as i love candlelit dinners and having a romantic time being in the bathroom with my crush was not romantic i remember me and her we ended up sitting in there just sitting down talking on the floor and just waiting till someone was able to help us but then i remember i looked at her and said i wish there's some way to like actually like communicate to the outside there's got to be something in here and right as i say that this girl decides to pull out her phone that she has she had an iphone 4 by the way at the time she pulls it out and says oh like i should probably just call my mom are you joking? We've been sitting down here for a half an hour, like stuck in here. And you're literally now just calling your mom. You had a phone the entire time. I remember I was playing that through my head, but honestly, the only thing I said to her was, Oh, that's a good idea. Cause I didn't want to make fun of my middle school crush for being how slow she was, I guess, in some way. And then one thing led to another. She ended up calling her mom. Her mom got absolutely mad at the teachers for not realizing that we were stuck in the bathroom. One thing led to another. The teachers came, opened the doors. Parents were really mad. And my mom was really upset because it got to the point where it was almost like one in the morning and being a young kid at one in the morning going outside well, let's be really here no one should be doing that but that's basically it for today's story make sure you just do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already seriously it means a lot when you guys do and like i always say fall for more embarrassing stories peace out guys